In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on November 19, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Texas Agricultural and Mechanical Commerce vs. Connecticut The East Texas Agricultural and Mechanical Lions will face off against the Connecticut Huskies on Tuesday in a college basketball matchup held at the Gampel Pavilion. Both teams are coming into this game with contrasting performances and expectations for their upcoming schedules. The Lions have already faced Texas Agricultural and Mechanical and Southern, and they have matchups against Oklahoma, Stonehill, and Fort Wayne ahead. Meanwhile, the Huskies have secured wins over New Hampshire and Lemoyne and are preparing for games against Memphis, Maryland Eastern Shore, and Baylor. The Lions have had a challenging start to their season, dropping their first three games against tough competition. They opened the year with an 89-67 defeat against Iowa, followed by a more competitive 91-83 loss to South Dakota. However, their struggles culminated in an 87-55 blowout loss to Texas Agricultural and Mechanical in their third game. The tide began to turn in their fourth outing against Southern University on Wednesday, where the Lions eked out their first victory of the season. In that game, East Texas Agricultural and Mechanical held a narrow 37-35 lead at halftime and managed to secure a hard-fought 70-68 win. On the other side, the Connecticut Huskies have had a dominant start to their season with three decisive victories. They began their campaign with a commanding 92-56 win over Sacred Heart and followed it up with another strong performance, defeating New Hampshire 92-53. In their most recent outing against Lemoyne last Wednesday, Connecticut maintained its dominant form. The Huskies set the tone with a 38-19 advantage in the first half and extended their lead in the second half to finish with a resounding 90-49 victory. When evaluating the East Texas Agricultural and mechanical lions, it's clear they have faced significant challenges early on but have shown glimpses of resilience. They covered the spread against teams like Iowa and South Dakota and have already faced a formidable opponent in Texas agricultural and mechanical. This level of competition has prepared them to be a potential underdog worth considering. However, the Connecticut Huskies are in a league of their own at the moment. They are not only winning games but are also consistently covering spreads with ease. As such, the Connecticut Huskies to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Statistically, the East Texas Agricultural and Mechanical Lions are averaging 69 points per game on 44.8% shooting while allowing their opponents to score an average of 84 points on 46.9% shooting. The Lions are also conceding 36.3% shooting from beyond the arc and are managing to pull down 28.3 rebounds per game. In contrast, the Connecticut Huskies are firing on all cylinders offensively, averaging 91 points per game on an impressive 52 0.7% shooting while holding opponents to just 53 points on 34.8% shooting. Additionally, the Huskies are limiting opposing teams to 30.6% shooting from three-point range and are averaging 38.7 rebounds per game. Based on these statistics, the game is likely to exceed the projected total, making over the projected total our full game total pick. Cincinnati vs. Northern Kentucky The 18th-ranked Cincinnati Bearcats are preparing for a non-conference clash against the Northern Kentucky Norse on Tuesday evening at Truist Arena. Cincinnati has started the season strong, riding a three-game winning streak and showcasing their dominance in an 86-49 home victory over the Nishals Colonels last Friday. On the other hand, Northern Kentucky is aiming to snap a tough start to their season, marked by three consecutive losses, including a narrow 61-59 home defeat to Nishals just last Thursday. The Bearcats have shown consistency and effectiveness, stringing together three straight wins to kick off their campaign. Their offensive production has been particularly impressive, averaging over 90 points per game while maintaining a shooting percentage of more than 57% from the field and 43% from beyond the arc. Cincinnati's rebounding prowess has been a key factor in their success, as they average over 11 offensive rebounds per game, creating ample second-chance scoring opportunities. Additionally, their disciplined approach 
approach minimizes turnovers, reducing easy scoring chances for opponents. Although Northern Kentucky demonstrated defensive improvements in their last outing, allowing fewer than 70 points, they struggled significantly in their first two games, making it challenging to contain Cincinnati's high-powered offense. Conversely, Northern Kentucky's offensive struggles have been a glaring issue. The team has been unable to find a rhythm, shooting below 35% from the field and failing to capitalize on free throw opportunities, converting less than 70% at home. Their rebounding efforts also fall short compared to Cincinnati, limiting their chances for additional possessions. Turnovers have plagued the Norse, giving their opponents numerous fast break opportunities. Facing a Bearcats team that has yet to allow more than 56 points in a game, Northern Kentucky's inefficient offense is likely to remain stifled in this matchup. The disparity between these two programs is stark, and the standings reflect it. The Cincinnati Bearcats, ranked in the AP poll, are surging, while the Northern Kentucky Norse are still searching for their first victory. Advanced metrics from Ken Palm underscore this divide, with Northern Kentucky ranked 186th in adjusted net ratings at minus 2.21, compared to Cincinnati's impressive 11th place standing with a plus 22.89 rating. Shooting statistics further highlight the gap, as Cincinnati is converting an outstanding 57.4% of their attempts from the field, whereas Northern Kentucky is struggling at just 34.8%. Given these factors, the Cincinnati Bearcats to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Cincinnati's offensive capabilities are among the best in college basketball, while Northern Kentucky's offense ranks as one of the weakest nationally, creating a lopsided matchup. Both teams have adopted a slower tempo this season, with Cincinnati averaging 68.6 possessions per game, ranking 266 nationally, and Northern Kentucky slightly faster at 68.8 possessions, placing 250th. Despite this methodical pace, the Norse's offensive struggles will likely prevent them from coming close to their implied point total, making over the projected total our full game total pick. UNC Wilmington vs. Kansas On Tuesday evening in Lawrence, an exciting showdown will take place as the undefeated UNC Wilmington Seahawks travel to face the top-ranked Kansas Jayhawks in a non-conference matchup. The visiting Seahawks, who have started the season with a perfect 3-0 record straight up and a 1-1 mark against the spread, managed to escape with a narrow 89-85 victory at South Carolina Upstate on Friday night as 9-point favorites. On the other hand, the Jayhawks, also undefeated with a 4-0 straight-up record and 2-2 against the spread, cruised to a dominant 78-57 win over Oakland on Saturday, covering the 27.5-point spread at home. Both teams are off to perfect starts early in the season, although for UNC see Wilmington. This will undoubtedly be their toughest challenge to date. Kansas, having already secured impressive victories over powerhouse programs like North Carolina and Michigan State, has looked dominant in their wins. However, despite their strong start, the Jayhawks haven't exactly blown out their mid-major opponents. Given that UNC Wilmington is a solid mid-major team and is being given more than a 20-point spread in this game, we should approach this matchup with a certain level of caution. By now, you're likely familiar with Kansas. The Jayhawks have a stacked roster this season, featuring added depth and some sharp shooters to complement the dominant play of big man Hunter Dickinson. Kansas also boasts a formidable backcourt in veteran guards K.J. Adams and Dewan Harris, who form one of the top guard duos in the country. This squad is already in tournament-ready form, making them a formidable opponent. On the other hand, UNC Wilmington, with just one returning starter and a major loss in scoring production from last year, faces an uphill battle. The Seahawks have brought in some talented transfers and have been able to put up in impressive point totals so far, scoring 89 or more points in every game this season. However, none of these games have been against opponents anywhere near the caliber of Kansas. This will be the first ever meeting between these two programs. While UNC Wilmington's offense has been outstanding, ranking high in scoring, it's important to remember that the 144 points they put up in their season opener came against a Division II opponent. In their two subsequent wins, the Seahawks have won by an average margin of just six points, and their 89-point performance in their their last game came against the 357th ranked scoring defense in the country. The level of competition they face so far has been far below what they will encounter at Kansas, especially playing in the legendary Allen Fieldhouse. Kansas has demonstrated its ability to dominate lower level opponents, winning their last two games by an average margin of 25 and a half points. With a dominant presence in the paint, particularly with Dickinson, the Jayhawks present a significant challenge for the Seahawks. UNC Wilmington has shown vulnerability on 
defense, having allowed 91 points to Mount Olive, 84 points to Georgia Southern, and 89 points to South Carolina Upstate. Given that Kansas boasts a top 10 offense nationally, it seems reasonable to expect the Jayhawks to score well over 100 points in this matchup. The Seahawks will struggle to keep pace and won't be able to cover the spread if they can't slow down Kansas' offense. Kansas has been stingy on defense, allowing only 70 points or more just once, with that coming against a top 10 offense in North Carolina. Against teams with lesser offenses, like UNC Wilmington, Kansas will not give up easy points. The Jayhawks don't allow many free throws or offensive rebounds, and the Seahawks will likely struggle to shoot better than 50% from the field. While the Seahawks may be a better team than anticipated, heading into one of the the most difficult venues in college basketball with a new roster and facing a top-tier program is a tough ask. So the Kansas Jayhawks to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. This game presents an intriguing contrast between the nation's top scoring offense and a mid-major team that faces its first real test of the season. UNC Wilmington has managed to win close games against lower tier teams, but they have yet to face an elite program like Kansas. Their victory against one of the worst defenses in the nation doesn't necessarily indicate they can compete against a top tier squad. In terms of pace, the Seahawks rank 142nd in both tempo and adjusted offensive efficiency, so they play at a solid pace and score efficiently, ranking 16th in the country in possessions per game with 80.5. Kansas, ranked 78th in tempo and 9th in adjusted offense, plays at a slightly slower pace, averaging 73.6 possessions per game. While Kansas' offense has been somewhat quieter in their recent games, they are facing a defense that has allowed over 87 points per game, so expect them to pick up the pace and exploit the soft defense. Kansas is known for pushing the tempo, and with the Seahawks allowing an average of 87 points per game, the Jayhawks should take advantage of the fast pace and put up big numbers. They scored 92 points against tougher competition earlier in the season, so they should be able to replicate that performance on Tuesday night. On the other hand, the Seahawks will do their best to keep up, led by standout scorer Donovan Newby. UNC Wilmington has proven that they can score from all areas of the floor, fight for offensive rebounds, and consistently put up 85 or more points. While it's unlikely they will reach those high point totals against Kansas, their ability to score means they can still make this an exciting contest. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.